Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to create sticky table headers uh, using pure CSS for your HTML tables. So, uh, what I mean by sticky table headers is this right here. So as we can see, I've got this HTML table and if I was to scroll down, we can see that the table header just above here is going to stick and uh, floats above everything else as the user scrolls down and reads the table. So obviously, um, right here, it's gonna be super useful uh, to enhance your user experience. Um, if your user can constantly see uh, which one of their columns refers to uh, which header. Okay, so um, this, is, uh, this is quite a new method um, in order to achieve sticky headers. Uh, previously, uh, before the method I'm gonna show you uh, was available, uh, people had to use JavaScript in order to create these sticky headers, but now we have a pure CSS solution that is supported by many of the major web browsers. Okay, so let's go inside this tab right here. Essentially on this tab, I've got the exact same table, but without the sticky headers. So let's go ahead now and implement sticky headers on this table right here. But first, let's go inside the text editor and take a look at what the actual HTML file looks like. As we can see here, inside the CSS, um, I've got some really basic styles to change the appearance of the table, make it look a bit nicer. Um, I've got just simply a font family of sans serif, a border collapse. I've also got some padding and some borders around the table header and the table data or table cell um, elements. And um, I've also got here for the table header specifically, I've got a darker gray background and a um, uh, and a font color of white. So really basic CSS styles to enhance the appearance of the, um, of the table. And as far as the HTML goes, we can see it's a really straightforward HTML structure. I've got a table, I've got a T head, and I've got a T body with, uh, with a bunch of rows inside here. So I'm sure that uh, the HTML table that you have in your own website or project looks very similar to this. So essentially, this method is gonna work perfectly fine for um, almost any uh, HTML table. Okay, and I've also got down here um, just a bunch of uh, paragraphs for some dummy text to explore what happens uh, as we scroll down further on the page with the sticky headers. So now let's go inside the CSS and work on um, implementing the sticky headers for this table. Uh, the first thing to do is to add a separate class to the table called sticky. Of course, you can do this um, however you like, and you can name this class whatever you like, um, but I wanna try and keep things modular. Um, that way, um, if you wanna have uh, certain HTML tables sticky and certain uh, and uh, certain ones not sticky, you can simply uh, add or remove this sticky class to your tables, um, so it behaves like a modifier class for your main components, okay, if that makes sense. Of course, you can name this sticky-header or sticky-headers, whatever you like, I'm gonna be calling it sticky. Uh, so now with this being said, let's go inside the CSS and add some rule sets for the sticky class. So I'm gonna say dot table and then dot sticky to target uh, the sticky table. And then I'm gonna target each one of the table header elements um, that are inside a sticky table. This is very important because we're gonna be adding properties to the table header elements themselves, these ones right here. Okay, so the main property here is gonna be position and you're gonna make this sticky. So sticky is a relatively new uh, value and essentially it allows your um, uh, the positioning of your element to toggle between fixed and relative depending on um, where the user is in terms of how they're scrolling on the page. So um, I'll show you more about how this works a bit later on uh, once we specify a top of zero along with the position sticky. So essentially uh, this property here um, is vital for the this to work um, and you're basically saying here as soon as the viewport reaches a top of zero um, uh, you're gonna have a fixed uh, positioning on the table header 
So uh, those two properties right there is all you need to create a sticky header. I'm going to save this here and refresh and we can see that it is working perfectly fine right here. Um, we can see uh, the top zero is working um, because the table header is right up against the top of the page. Um, if I was to go back inside here and make this top and make this uh, 20 pixels for example, save this and refresh, we can see now that it is a bit further the down um, and the same goes uh, for when it's fixed okay so um, let's just go back inside here and make this uh, top and put it back to zero okay cool so if you wanted to um, add a border to your table header just for a bit more emphasis um, this can be done unfortunately if you were to say border bottom and make this something like two pixels solid and then black for example save this and refresh we can see it works initially however as you scroll down you lose the border so um, to get around this we're going to be creating a pseudo element after each one of the table headers so it's going to be really straightforward um, and it's quite a good and robust solution so back inside here let's get rid of this and uh, target dot table dot sticky then we're going to say colon colon after just like this to create um, a pseudo element um, for the actual border um, to sort of emulate it okay so firstly we're going to say content and make this empty string we're going to say width and make this 100 percent a height of two pixels this right here is going to be your border width essentially and a position of absolute okay we're also going to say bottom and make this zero and left to make this zero that way it's going to be positioned in the bottom left corner um, and lastly background and we're going to make this black so essentially uh, this right here is kind of like your border color okay cool so uh, that's basically it so now we're going to get four pseudo elements after each one of the table heads and it's going to basically create a fake border because technically this isn't a border it's just an HTML pseudo or a CSS pseudo element so now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here um, the exact same result um, and now if I was to scroll down we can see that the border remains in place so um, you know, there are many solutions out there, I believe, for creating borders in this scenario, but this one right here is what I find to be um, the best and most robust. Um, and one last thing I want to share is that if you were to, uh, you know, sort of uh, create a situation where the user can scroll down further, th uh, further than the table, like right here, for example, we can see that the table header is going to fade away out of the um, view of the user once you go past the bottom of the table. So this makes position sticky um, even more useful um, and even more good to use. So um, there you go, guys. That's how to create a sticky header using pure CSS. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.